What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be showing you how to butcher a, a rib of beef with the fillet and the sirloin left on for steaks. Here we go. First you want to take your fillet off. Just run your knife hard up against the bone, not like I've just done. <laughs> so take the fillet out. Always making sure you cut away from yourself if you can. Certainly not towards your cameraman. Not towards your cameraman. <laughs> yeah, my usual camera person is not here today. She's tucked away in bed <laughs> as it's late. And she's got school in the morning. Although I'm sure she'll enjoy watching this video. So that's your fillet off. Later we'll show you how to trim that up. So you're left with your sirloin and your rib, which we're going to stake up. We've got a saw. Top left. Top left. Top left next to that wooden handle. All the way, far corner, black handle. Oh, we go. There we go. Just far left, all the way to the left. There you go. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh, nice, nice 4.6 degrees fridge there. Oh, look at that, bang on. So we're going to do this at uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ribs. Because we prefer ribeye. It sells better. Certainly, <laughs> it certainly does. Yeah. Just cut between the two joints there. And then give it a good saw until you're through the bone. Follow through with your steak knife. So that we're going to be doing out all as ribeye. Some really decent ribeye there. And this we're going to be doing as sirloin. So with the sirloin, find the edge of the bone, but there's still a rib there. Just go down the back of it. Simple. Pull it away as you cut in. Follow the rib down. Some butchers will actually go straight through the joint like that. Take the ribs out. But we're gonna sheet bone it out for sake of time and the fact that the trim that's left on is not particularly good for steaks anyway. If you feel here, you'll feel a lump where the bone is. You just want to go the other side of that. So. Helps if you have a razor sharp knife. Not like mine. Keep finding the edge of that bone and follow it down. Try not to uh, slip your knife too much into the good meat. Hard up against the bone. Pull it away as you go. When you get to the bottom here, there's like a little ridge. You won't be able to see it with the camera, but you kind of have to turn your knife like that at an angle and follow it round and down and then back in. So up round there, round and back in. And you have to do that all the way along, keeping as hard to the bone as you can. without cutting yourself or the cameraman. <laughs> That's it. 
Uh, show this one to Kevin. You might find attacking from both ends is easier. However you're most comfortable really. Get down, now we're on that blade at the back. Just across until you hit the gristle. And then cut straight down. <sighs> you have to apply quite a lot of pressure. If you're not pushing really hard, you're not doing it right. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so that is your sirloin. Secret to Obviously we'll show marriage. you how to trim it up later. But that's the basis for your sirloin. Now the rib. My personal favourite. On here you're gonna have the end of the blade from the rump. So you wanna take that out. Just one big, thick lump of gristle. I mean, realistically, because we're trimming this up for steak, you could leave this in, but you're going to need to take it out when you're trimming anyway. And again, we're going to sheep bone this out first, at which stage you'll have something which you could then roll into a boneless rib joint or trim further turn into ribeye steaks. Now if you guys are looking to save a bit of money at Christmas and you want to do a bit of home butchering you can pick a rump and loin or even just a rib and loin up at Smithfield in London but you need to get there at two o'clock in the morning otherwise all the best stuff is sold. You try getting there at the moment. Yeah, you free. Mate, it's a bloody nightmare. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> you have to leave early. A3 was shut. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, when we tried. What did you do? We just didn't go. <laughs> it diverted us to Aldershot. But we will still be going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, great. Yeah. Smithfield is the only market in London that has a 24 hour licensed pub on site. So there we go, folks meat and you can have a beer afterwards. When I was doing my butcher and apprenticeship all them years ago the guy that used to take me up to Smithfield would go in and have a pint of Guinness at two, half two in the morning as soon as we got to the market every single time. It was a long time ago. As you guys who are following my channel know, all 14 of you, <laughs> I'm no longer a butcher, but it is the only trade I'm qualified in. So here you can see a big yellow lump of gristle. We're just gonna take that, go along the seam there and take that out with No, we're not. We're gonna cut through it. That's your big slab of meat, which will become your ribeye. And don't forget, all those bones, roast them up, make yourself some cracking beef stock. So to get this ribeye out, you basically just want this eye of meat at this end, and this eye of meat at this end. This is the rib end, this is the sirloin end. The best meat is here, the best flavour is here. So the best steaks are in the middle. Anyway, we'll trim that bit of gristle off there that I've left on, and we'll get to work. If you're gonna roll this, you just take that gristle out and then roll the whole thing up as it is. As a rib, we're just going to peel it back, go down the seam. 
So there we go, that's peel, almost that's peeling a lot nicer. Pull it. Follow that eye. When you get to here, you probably want to keep that little bit on. Don't have to, but. Meat's money. Meat is money, yeah. There's another seam here on this side. You can almost pull it away like you pull the chain away on the fillet. Just find that seam in between the muscles. Try not to cut the meat, just go through the seam. And there you have it, that's your waste for mint or whatever. If you're going to mince it, you want to take that big lump of gristle out there. Not nice. Yeah. <clears throat> and here, that's your ribeye steak. There. And that's your middle cut, which is the best. Look there. at that. video now? It's 11 and a half minutes. Okay. Now we'll show you how to uh, trim out the fillet and then we'll call that a day. We'll do another video on the uh, sirloin. Here's your fillet, it's only a small one because the rest of it's on the rump. Again, pull the chain off, straight down the seam. Most prized piece of meat, it looks proper mucky, doesn't it? So yeah. <laughs> fill it before you finish all clearing it out. Off. You don't have to pull it all off. But it's an expensive piece of meat. People want it to look pretty. So just give it a good trim. Any real fatty bits pull off. Any dark dry meat from where it's been hanging, trim it off. Get on this side and you'll find the skin sometimes. Pull that skin off. And then you're just left with a little bit of dry skin to trim out. Basically just prettying it up. Getting rid of any bristly bits. If you sort of angle your knife slightly up and pull up against it, you'll get a thin slice off without taking the whole thing. This is a nice fillet. It feels like it's been really well hung. And that for me would do. So cut that tail, but don't sever it. Fold it back, tie it on. There's your fillet. Job done. Thank you very much, YouTube. Goodbye.